Hello everyone, in this video you will learn how to create a small shop in Unity. Let's go! Very well, this is a shop. Let's see what we must do if we want to reduce some coins and add some items for each click on the buy button. For this, first create a script named as shop and a game object, then give the script to it and open the script. Because you have a lot of works with UI, use unityengine.ui before anything. Remove useless parts and define two integers. First for your coins and second for your item. For buy button, a void is needed, so create a void and name it buy mana, or whatever you want. To check coins for buying item, you need an if, for example 200 coins for each mana potion, and an else for when you didn't have enough coins. If coins was enough, on any buy, 200 coins should be reduced, then display what happened. For this, define a text and name it whatever you want, like coin text and define a text for mana2 to, to display how many mana that you have. Equal coin text to coin integer by using dot to a string to show your coins number in shop scene. Add mana by one and display number of it too. At a start, increase the number of coins and display it of course. Drag mana and coin text to the script of shop. After dragging the shop game object towards buy button and choose the buy void, let's play to test. If you don't know how to work with UI buttons, don't miss above video. After play, if you click on buy button, you will see coins are reduced 200 by 200 and mana is added one by one. There is a problem, if you close application or stop it, this coin and mana chains come back to their default number. To prevent this, open the script again and use player proofs for saved chains. If you don't know how to save different things and work with player proofs, don't worry. We made a tutorial for that too. You are watching its link above. To save coins number, type this. Choose a name that you want the coins saved by that name like coin and the number of it that it is coin integer. To save mono number, do this too. Only use mono stuff. To load coin and mono number in a start void write this. In parentheses write that special name that you have chosen before. To display loaded things, use the display code that you used before for each one of them. After play you will see coins are reduced and mono is added. Open the code and remove the part that sets number of coins. Why? Because we wanna see how many coins are saved. After play, you will see mono and coins number loaded successfully. If coins number is less than 200, this message will show, which you can put any other command instead of that. For another shop items, do what you did for mono. I'll do it and I'll do it quickly. See you until end for result. It's done. Now after play you will see after I buy an item that item's number got increased and saved. After replay that number will be loaded again. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe us. Thank you.